here in front of the good old C64 and uh, load eight. Uh, oh, I mean uh, load asterisk comma eight comma one. Yeah, that's more like it. I hate when I do that. Why do I always do that? Hi, it's Bill from the Dot Eaters. While we're waiting for the interminable load times of the Commodore 1541 floppy drive, let's talk a little bit about Alan Miller. He was a game designer at Atari in the early days of the company, toiling away in anonymity while pushing the technical limits of the Atari VCS console with games like the groundbreaking Basketball. What made Basketball so special? It was the trapezoid playfield that Miller developed for the game. This gave it a feeling of depth. Instead of the players moving left and right on a lateral plane, there was an almost 3D effect to the gameplay, something previously thought impossible on the VCS at the time. Tired of being just another nameless surf, Miller left Atari in 1979 and became one of the founders of Activision, a company that rode the huge success of the VCS as the first third-party developer of games for that platform. In late 1984, Alan Miller left that company and founded Accolade with fellow Activision co-founder Bob Whitehead. Accolade presents... While he spent 10 years at the company guiding Great the development team. of some of the greatest games across multiple platforms, Miller would only design a single game there. The one featured in this video, Law of the West. I played this game a lot on my trusty old C64, and when you look at it, you can actually see Miller playing around with perspective again, with the sheriff looming in the foreground and the various citizens he meets on his rounds coming into view on the dusty street. I often wondered what it would be like if the sheriff, charged with protecting the people of Gold Gulch, were to slowly lose his mind one day. It might go a little something like this.
Thank you. 